Good morning, treasurers. This is your host, Parthi Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is all what you need to know before going into trade for 11th June 2021 in the international market. U.S. consumer prices for May increased at their fastest clip in nearly 13 years as inflation pressures continued to accelerate in the U.S. economy. Consumer price index rose 5% year-on-year versus economist expectation of 4.7 percentage points. In April, CPI increased 4.2 percent versus 5 percent in May 2021. Investors had already priced in inflation and US 10-year yields had rose from 0.55 percentage points to 175 percentage points in the past nine months. Now, the real question is, will the inflation be as the Fed thinks transitory in nature or is here to stay. Many of the corporates have started to pass on the inflation to the end consumers as the raw material costs have spiked like never before. As far as the trading is concerned, buy the rumor sell the news is what has caught up with the bond market. Contrary to everyone's belief, with higher inflation, US 10 year closed 5 basis points down at 1.45 percentage points and 30 year closed 2 basis points down at 2.15 percentage points on Thursday. Investors have now seen the inflation and are waiting for the confirmation before the next leg of rally in yields. On the other hand, ECB President Christine Lagarde said, inflation has picked up over recent months largely on account of base effects, transitory factors and an increase in energy prices. It is expected to rise further in the second half of the year before declining as temporary factors fade out. So both ECB and Fed are playing the same transitory inflation story which market needs to confirm. But till then, the yields will be in check. In the crude oil market, crude is trading at $72.35 per barrel. Short term range for crude is $69.73. In the currency market, dollar index or DXY is thinly trading with a very narrow range at 90.02. Short term range for DXY is 89.86 to 90.21. USD CNY or Chinese Yuan is at 639. USD INR with a high of 73.12 closed at 73.06. USD INR's range for today seems to be 72.85 to 73.25. Watch out US jobless claims today. In the domestic market, India's inflation numbers will be out on Monday after market hours. Market participants expect a rise in May 21 where inflation may come at 540 versus April 21's 429. Nothing much to be derived from May 21's inflation numbers as in April May 2020 last year. Due to nationwide lockdowns, the data collection was a challenge. Hence, the base effect will play out. Finally, the much-awaited G7 1.0 third tranche information is out in the market. As declared by the RBI governor, Rs 10,000 crore SDLs and 30,000 crore GSEC are part of this third tranche. In GSEC, the eligible securities are 697 697-26, 679-27, 717-28, 759-29, 585-2030, 664-35. Both 10 and 15 year 10 and 15 years securities have been included in the list. But 563-2026 has not been included in the list, and we may see some selling in 563-2026. 563-2026 closed at 549 versus 552 the previous trading day. 585-2030 closed at 602 versus 601 the previous trading day. Please note that because of the non-inclusion in the GSEP 1.0 third tranche, we do expect a sell-off in 563-2026 from prevailing 549 yields till 553. According to Knight Research's internal team, 585-2030's range for this week also stays same 6 to 605. There will be a GSEC auction scheduled today and Knight Research team will be available with the auction cutoffs by 10:40 a.m. That's it for today. You were listening to Night Snippets with Partha Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech. See you on Monday with a new episode of Night Snippets.